The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. Hi everybody, this is Tuplex. Welcome back to the Maze of Misery. I'm here with JD Plays. Hi JD. G'day mate. So, what's your plan for this episode? Something important? Uh, first of all, I think we should go take a look at what these biters are doing. Uh... Yeah, and then uh, we, we talked about doing, starting work on, on military science packs. Which uh... I think are gonna help us immensely that's a few just a few wow. biters yeah yeah okay uh i am gonna be really really productive and i'm gonna put two machines there making walls and a box because i even have a box and that sounds good i'm going to then go yell at some guns and add more friends to the pile yes okay uh 100 guns that seems like a reasonable number all right and uh, i'm gonna go away and i'm gonna come back and you're magically gonna get military science up and running okay yeah good luck well you know we have to research it first Ooh, you don't technically need to research you only need to research if you want to yeah, no, we'll, we'll start preparing for it. Sorry, some biters showed up. Oh, okay. Like a lot of them. As I was running towards the wall, so were they, it turns out. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you only need to actually research if you... Ooh, there's more of them. Um, it turns out they're really happy on this side of the wall. Um, yeah, you only need to research if you want to make science packs. But I'll settle for AP, ammo, and grenades in the meantime. Yeah. I, you I, know, that... I, I, that I side... Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that, that side that you're on right now, if you go due south, it looks like it might be a dead end. Due south and to where the biters are? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, bet you it's not. Where that biter nest is? We might be able to take that out. Uh, yeah, I, I volunteer you to be sac sacrificed. I'm sorry, I meant, um, um, um... Hang on, hang on. I gotta remember the correct phrasing from Hunger Games. What was it? Tribute, tribute. Yes, yes. <laughs> It'll be my honor. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna plan out military science. Okay. So um, we need five machines making red ammo. We need two machines making walls, which you've just put in place. Oh, did I? Shit, I got the ratio right. I thought it was only one machine. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm kind of doubling it. We're doing like two per second here, because yeah, I still think it's just because one our requirements are so high. I know? still think it's just one machine, because wall is made super quickly. We need uh, we need ninety wall per minute, and that takes two tier one machines. He's cheating using a calculator. Yeah, that's why I put this mod in. I don't want to do math in my head anymore. Oh, you're you you're using mods to do it. I thought, I thought you had um yeah. um um. Hold um. on. Well, when when you see when you see my POV when we release these, then you'll you'll see how we're doing this. Yeah, I, I've never used Hellmod. Um, I thought you're using like a Kirk McDonald calculator on the other screen. Oh, okay. No, I'm I'm using the mod in the game. Oh, either or. Okay. Still cheating. <laughs> do the maths mentally mentally okay. okay so we got the walls we actually have a lot of yellow ammo being produced uh, yes we probably got enough yeah, yellow so ammo pull... you probably just need to peel off that and do red ammo although I would do six assemblers for red yeah we want extra we want extra not just what we need for the science packs. Uh, let's see here. And for that, we need copper, copper and steel. steel as well. Yeah. So I would build it like there. All right. Because that's neat. And what are you doing? That's for ammo. But we've got ammo. No, for red ammo. How are you going to get copper and steel to it? It's an iron line. Well, I've we already have a lot of ammo over here. Yeah. We got yellow ammo over here. Yeah. We only we only need 
two. We only need two machines worth of yellow ammo for the red ammo. Correct. And you put down a okay. bunch of assemblers beside an iron line and an iron line, and they require copper and steel. I just want to well, walk you said, You just said you should put it here. Yeah, no, I, I clicked. I clicked over here. Okay. Oh, over I see. there. Yeah, there. The other there. Gotcha. I, I, I shall I shall keep my pings in future to many pings. That way you can't miss them. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have added more labs because, funnily enough, we're still making science faster than we can spend science, which is nice. both a blessing and a curse. It means things could go faster. And I do not want to build a copper smelter. I'm going to pretend that we have lots of copper. Alright. And guns, and guns, and guns. Okay. How much more do I have on me? Several hundred. Okay. ever build the guns in the south on the other bit? You did. Okay, cool. Uh... Oh yeah, there's friends in the south too. Oh, there's more friends in the south. There's a big green bloody pile outside the wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put another layer of guns. Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah, the, the faster we impart friendship bullets... Uh, no, so Friendship pellets. Friendship pellets. They're not bullets, they're <laughs> friendship pellets. The faster we impart friendship pellets, uh, the faster they go away. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're starting to remind me of, uh, what was that? World War Z? Yeah, World War Z. That's the one where the um, zombies go and pile up against the walls and start climbing over the walls, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, okay, there, there, there. Come on, JD. You can run and click at the same time, maybe? No. Nope. Either I'm running too fast or I'm clicking too slow. One of the two things are, are true. Okay. If I... Oh, and you'll need power as well. Okay. So we've done a good job of walling ourselves in. Um, yep. Which is going to make getting yeah. out later a issue. Yeah. Well, and, and, and you mentioned it at the end last time. We are starting to run out of space so uh yeah i thought it'd be resources it turns out no you're right it's space because i just looked at where to put a copper smelter and the answer is nowhere <laughs> absolutely nowhere um and how is power still okay wow yeah i haven't even looked at that in a while uh i, I tend to look at it when i notice everything starts getting slower and I'm like, oh yeah, power's a thing. Yeah, I've got many bad habits. All right, <laughs> um, I want five, five, five. Nope, I want green circuits. Actually, I want gears. I have automated the power of gears. 200, that's probably enough. Uh, one, two, nope, uh, green, two. There's no green circuits in the green circuit box. Oh, oh, oh. No, that one has green circuits. Okay. Uh, five, 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 okay. minus one. Get rid of that. Now we need grenades. Uh, they're easy. It turns out in Factorial Land, if you take iron and coal and you rub the two together, they explode. <laughs> I don't know how smelters work, because they require iron and coal to make steel, but somehow they do. <laughs> and they require heat, and yet they don't explode. 
<coughs> Pardon me. That's oh, right. You, you, you got the turn. You got the turn, then the cough. And it saves you hours later in editing, Gary. Did I cough in that episode? <laughs> Where did I cough in that episode? Okay. More laps. They all go flashy, flashy. Science go faster. Um, military. Uh, explosives? Shh. No. We don't really need explosives. I don't even know what to get for the next research. Alright. What are we doing? Grenades. Grenades. I yeah, we actually need 12 machines making grenades, so... I think, uh, but we're out of room here, so I think I'll do six on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, let's make it eight on each side because we're going to want grenades for personal use too, right? Sure. Sure. I noticed the, one of the ones that I attached and inserted, inserted to, that's the one that gets nicked off with. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, those two, those two... They need more iron or coal, or shit, more iron or more coal. It's more coal, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, they actually need more coal than iron. You're right. Uh, okay, so if I do that, maybe they'll keep up. Uh, can I? No. Steel. Yeah. They run pretty slowly. Uh, oh, I forgot you needed stupid sticks. You need iron sticks for steel power poles. Uh, yeah. Oh, and you're already doing steel power poles. Nice. Yeah, because you need that side for inserts. There somewhere. Okay. Sure. How do I get the perfect gap when nothing gets powered? All right. Uh, there is no way that's going to have enough coal on it. Yeah. Um. I like the ingenuity. Yeah, ingenuity. But how about we do it? The, do you have, a, have an underground like right there? Yep. Cool. We can pretend that like that's gonna work. I have a feeling that it's sure not. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, we'll see. It'll get us started at least. Uh. Okay. Pick a research. Okay. Any research. Any research we can do. Uh, we could do fast assemblers. Sure. We can do stronger explosives. Yeah, the problem is they don't really do anything to get the explosives three. Yeah, no. And then that's only helpful for clearing forests, which I do believe will be banned. Yeah, that's that's true. We're not going to clear forests, are we? Um, they're they are pretty good for taking out big groups of biters, though. Yeah. The correct way to take out a big group of biters with grenades is to stand in the middle of the big group of biters and then throw a grenade at your foot. <laughs> it will, right. you know, they, they have an area of effect and you want the most area covered by biters, so you stand in the middle to attract the biters, then you throw it at your foot. This is yeah. the most correct way to kill off the biters. The catch is you're throwing grenades at your foot. Right. Gotta be careful with that. Uh, Funnily enough, the biters do more damage to you than the grenades do, so... Yeah, um, okay, so if we run... Oh, shit. Um, okay, if I run... Right, I'm gonna cut coal there to the smelters, and then I'm gonna run that coal line in there, and we're gonna pretend we just never run out of coal for power. And hope for the best. Uh, sure. I need more belts. Um, right, 
I need more of those. And yeah, more power poles. Uh, yeah, I need more miners yesterday. Um, and now there's no science. It all got eaten. Uh, so we have enough labs now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now it's time to double red and green and military and all the other sciences, right? Yeah. Yeah, you've still got... There's still too many gear machines. I think your helm mod is wrong. For what? For the green science, you mean? For red science. Oh, for the red science. All right. Let's try cutting one out and see what happens. I think it's also wrong for circuits for green science. I don't know, I can't remember that part of the build. It's been too long. I'd have to go back to my original tutorial videos to confirm the maths. Yeah. Uh, okay. We'll hook up more coal. And then wait for more miners to be crafted again. Um, yeah, if we need to expand like power or smelters or anything, um, we have some problems. Because of space, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we definitely need more coal over here for what? grenades. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Factorio failed me. Um, it didn't auto add on downs. Yeah, we need... We need 450 a minute, which is... Such a helpful number. How many per second? 450 divided by 60 is 7.5. Oh, that's half a belt. Uh huh. The problem is you have two half a belts that are fed oh, past. Yeah. We got two half a belts yeah. that are fed past smelters first. Right. So if you don't use the iron, then they're fine. Right. If you do use the iron, then you're going to end up with gaps. Yep. And I don't think it's the system buffering, they all look to be fully buffered. Uh, also gonna want yeah, some we don't really... Okay. I just got the weirdest lag ever, but okay. You suck, game. Oh, I'm still waiting for the underground scruff. Goes there. Okay. That goes up there. All right. Come on, undergrounds. There we go. Okay. Now, if I take my belt, magic. Thank you. Um, mine has run out already. That's always a good sign. To there. And bring that coal line to there. Added more coal. It wanders all over the place. Uh, it hopefully okay. feeds power. Uh, why do I have that on? Um, why don't I have that on? There we go. It's been too long since I played. Uh, nope, it's full of ghost miners as well. Okay, so it still needs some tweaking. Uh, tweaking improvements to be made. We want input from the left. 
Uh, we should now have a dedicated full line for smelting and a dedicated full line, hopefully, roughly, for um, power. Uh, we're definitely out of red and green science. Yep. Well, we've got... Yeah, we've got more than enough labs. Uh-huh. We've somehow got military up and running like one episode again. Uh, yeah. AP ammo is on a belt with walls. Okay, I want to take AP ammo with one of my filter inserters. Um... Oh, okay. You're going to feed it on the loop there? Yes. Because I figured that's not a bad idea. Yep. Uh, go, go, no control whether a gun's just gonna, gonna decide to pick up AP ammo or normal ammo, but something's better than nothing. Um, or do we want right. to fit it into a box for us first? Um, I'll do that down here at the end of the line. Oh, I'll put like uh, I'll idea. put the ammo in one box and I'll put grenades in another box. Can never have enough grenades. Never have enough grenades. Okay. Uh, so does that mean we now need to look at venturing out and finding oil? Yeah, yeah, we'll need oil next for blue science packs. Oh, good news, it's just there. <laughs> I was just about to say I don't see any, but there it is. We yep. just have to figure out how to get there. Uh, it's, 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 it's just there, you just gotta... Like the radar's discovery area right there, it's it, it'll be dead easy, I'm sure. Right. I'm sure. I wonder how far away we are from tanks. <laughs> uh, tanks require blue science, so I'm gonna go with yeah. a fair yeah, way. Right. Cars are an option. Yeah. Cars are an option. They do require that research, and for some reason, cars require red belt. I don't understand why. Uh, actually, I do understand why. It's because cars go fast and red belt goes fast. Um, <laughs> there you go. So, cars, maybe? Um, you want to do... You want to do projectile damage three before we do those? Because uh, we can do that now that we have military science packs. Sure. I want Let's do to... that. Let's do... Let's do projectile damage three, and then and then do the car research. Sure. Sound good? Yeah. And then and then we can go try to kill biters. Uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna need a rocket, and then uh, um um we're gonna have to survive through this horrible ordeal somehow. Um. Yeah. Oh, we can make heavy armor now. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, I've just crafted mine. Uh, good news is... There you go, it's a present on the ground for you. Okay. So, the question is, are we going to try and squeeze something else out of this episode? We're going to call this one a little bit short. Uh, I think we call it a little bit short. Cool. I think we're at a good a good place to break right now. There you go. We're going to have a little bit of a shorter episode, and then next episode, um, somehow, somehow we're going to try and find oil, which is just past yep. that small group of biters coming to attack the ball, which came around, right. the, oh, the and that set. Oh, that has some medium biters. Excellent. Um, so they're coming around the cliff which means they're coming around that corner. You know that one that you said it's probably blocked off? Yeah. Yeah. It's not blocked off. See this spot? Right. Well, I don't know if you saw my oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah, that, that one. That looks like a left turn, doesn't it? It's that one top. Yeah, the fact that below that is, is open as well um, means that, yeah, it's... it's um. So we'll probably need to go down there and then go west and then go north again to get to the oil. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, next episode, I predict there may or may not be uh, some screaming and some death involved. Uh, but you, I, and, and, and Tuplex and everybody else shall find out in the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one where 
I don't know. That's the comments. Who screams like a little girl first? <laughs> Sounds good. That's it. All right. We Bye, will guys. see. Thanks, guys. See ya. Thank you.